ever? Did it happen to start slowing down when the new one came out? Well, if your answer is yes, you'll want to pay close attention to this next story. In today's Consumer Wise Report, Angie Moreski takes a close look at what might be to blame. Typing a message that lags when you try to send. Go home. It doesn't want to go. A home button taking its good old time. Say I'd go to Safari or something, I felt like it would just not load up as fast as it used to. Websites and apps loading ever so slowly. Sure is frustrating when your old iPhone suddenly feels like Gremlins got it just as a new model is released. A recent Harvard study raised the question of whether Apple deliberately slows down its older models just before a new launch. Check this out. The searches for iPhone slow just before new Apple launches have spiked over the years every time there's been a new release, all the way back to the 3G. The researchers did a correlating search for Samsung Galaxy Slow to compare. And while there has been a general increase in the number of searches, there are no correlating spikes to new releases. So is your sluggish iPhone just a planned ploy to get you to buy the latest model? I don't think they're doing it deliberately. Cell phone repair expert Sam Marco says the problem is more likely upgrading to the new operating system. The software is too much for the hardware to handle when your iPhone is too, you know, I don't want to say too old, but older. So skip the iOS update that comes with the latest phone if you're more than one model behind. Don't open it, because once you open it and it starts to download, you can't stop it. And then you can't roll back uh, from once you get the update, you can't reverse it. The other option, of course, is to upgrade. Closed captioning is brought to you by New 